Hello, my name is Amar Alamar, and I'm joined by my colleague Brian Jensen. We're excited to bring you a demonstration of the Mio armband, which is used by its wearer to control applications by simply using hand gestures. In this demonstration, a surgeon is wearing the Mio armband whilst performing knee surgery and is able to review x-rays and perform transactions that flow into Salesforce. Brian will walk us through the demonstration and then I'll elaborate on the Salesforce One components and the integration that is taking place. Brian, over to you. Yeah, so uh, actually what you're looking at here um, is uh, basically the screen that would be shown in the, in the room. Uh, what I'm able to do is I'm able to uh, see all different parts of the screen and, the cur and moving my arm around with the Mio band on my arm, you can see the cursor moving around the screen. To the left, I have all of the patient, in, uh, patient info. Uh, this is you know, her name, her age, all that kind of fun stuff. In the middle, I have a navigational system that is allowing me to uh, rotate this skeleton around. I'm doing it with a simple hand gesture. Um, and then also down here, I have a couple of action buttons that we'll get to in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do now is make a fist and I'm able to uh, nav down. I come to an area that has been highlighted. This is obviously the area that uh, has the x-rays associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my hand. That twist is acting as a mouse click. That mouse click brought up the x-rays. So if I want to actually look at one of these x-rays, I can twist my hand again. That x-ray then becomes large and I can view it. Once I'm finished viewing this x-ray, I'm able to twist my hand again and it, re it, it, it um, goes back to its original spot. I can do that with each one of these x-rays. So as you can see, as I have my arm held out here, I can twist and it closes it down. So let's take one last look at another x-ray. This last one here, yay. So at the end of this, what I want to do is I'm going to close off my uh, x-rays by twisting. I'll grab, you know, navigate around to the skeleton again. At this point, I want to order a post-op x-ray because there's needing more work to be done. Uh, here I can see that I've got this uh, question, yes or no. I'm going to say yes to the post-op x-ray. I'll get a notification to say that it's been ordered. Uh, next, I want to, as I'm getting close to the end of my surgery, uh, let the uh, uh, post-op team know that there's going to be a certain amount of time left before the surgery is done. So I'm going to get that. I get three options to select, 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes. Let's choose the 15-minute. Uh, what that does is that notes that the uh, surgery has come to a close, also sends out a notification to the team to let them know to get the operation room ready. So again, I'm using my hand as a cursor uh, and I can navigate quite easily around. And again, I am not touching anything, preserving the clean and sterile environment that is needed by a surgeon during surgery. So what I'd like to do is pass back over to Amar, who is going to walk us through uh, some of these Salesforce uh, point integrations. Thanks, Brian, that's really cool. All right, so in terms of integrating to Salesforce, the first component is a panel on the left. This is actually a visual force page being rendered in this 3D environment, which is called Unity 3D. We're able to render visual force and therefore present information directly from the platform in this environment. The other type of integration is the X-ray images that we've been seeing. These X-rays are actually stored as attachments against the record in Salesforce and we're retrieving them using the REST API, and then they're manipulated and we can interact with them using the Mio gestures within this environment. So it's quite great that we can offer both Visual Force as well as REST API integration in this application. Now you've heard us mention also some interactions that drive workflows, such as ordering a post-op X-ray. Now this gesture will drive a task to be created to the post-op team. On a similar token, these reminders drive workflow for emails and tasks, such as an email that I'll show you soon that is sent to the patient to remind him or her of the operation and the follow-up uh, call to take. All right, so let's jump into Salesforce One and have a look at what this application looks like on standard Salesforce One. So this is Salesforce One. I'm going to fire up the application and show you what all of this information looks like within Salesforce. Here is Jane Smith's record. I'm just swiping to show you some of the details. So this is standard contact details for Jane Smith. 
I'm going to swipe and go to some related lists, such as the medical procedures, which is the top one there. I'll click on that. And that's going to show me the actual medical procedure record. There is only one that was uh, showing up on the left hand side as information in the visual force panel. So as I scroll down, you'll be able to see some familiar information about the procedure, some notes um, taking place there, as well as uh, basic information like the context information here as well. Now, moving on, I can show you some related lists, such as activities, and this is the post op x ray task in the activity list. Moving back, we can look at attachments. So I'll click on attachments, and it'll take me to these x rays that we looked at earlier. I'll just load one of these and show you. As I mentioned, these are x-rays stored in Salesforce and are being downloaded into that environment. And there you go, here's the x-ray. Now, here's the email notification to the patient, reminding the patient of uh, booking an appointment for a follow-up. So there you have it. Thank you very much.